Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. To have your product reviewed, visit bit.ly slash review my product. James here from dragonblogger.com. Today I have a little walkthrough of how to install some Kingston SSDs. I'll probably do one on, one for the M.2 and I'll probably do another video for the other one. Now these are both SUV 500 um, 240 gig SSDs. These are both from Kingston. One's just a M.2 and one's a 2.5 uh, style. Now, this is um, encrypted with AES 256 bit. Um, there's no way I can actually test that, I don't think. So we'll just go with that. <laughs> this does read up to, I believe, sequential read and write about uh, 520 by 500 megs, megabytes, which isn't bad. So first, to get into this, we're going to have to take the, the front of the case off and I'm going to have to pull out my graphics card because this will have to go behind the graphics card. So if you guys give me one second, I'll switch uh, positions and give you guys a little better view. Okay, now that you can see the case a little better, here's the SSDs again. I'm going to put the M.2 in. So I'm going to set these aside for now. Then we're going to, this is a Fantax Evolve uh, ATX case. The panel just slides open on the side and then you just pop it off. Pretty simple, pretty easy. In here, you're going to want to connect your two eight, uh, your two six pins off a graphics card if you have a graphics card this big. Mine's not up to date, the newest, but you know, it's still a pretty big card. We're going to unscrew the screw, pull that off. In here is a little clip you'll have to hit to pull off the pin. I guess I will actually have to take off the top screw because I forgot about that one up here. I hope you guys can see all this. We're going to hope the screwdriver will work. It will. Now this should just slide out, and the card is out. I have to remove my game capture card. This is the Avir Media 4K live streamer. Now I'm just taking the, the graphics card out so you guys can see the, see the, the where it all goes. Now right here is where we're going to plug it in into the M.2. This is up to 32 gigs. This is uh, eight, uh, the Gigabyte G1 Gaming. So this is where we're going to slide the card in. Now, you won't need no screws because all the boards you should have the screws on it. Mine does. It's right here. We're going to slide it in and then connect it. Okay. Now, we're going to have to get this screw right here. It is rather small. I do suggest putting like a piece of paper down over if you have a PSU shroud with holes. I do, my power supply does have a, a shroud with holes, I don't want it falling through, so I'm going to set a piece of paper down on that metal. I'm going to take the screwdriver, and I'm going to hope that they don't drop it, because it is rather small. And there's the screw. It is small. I hope you guys can see this. If not, I apologize and I dropped it already. <laughs> Sorry about that. I dropped the screw. Now you're going to take your M.2. You're going to slide it in, press it in. It is going to go like that. You are then going to reverse the process with the screw and hope we don't drop it. I don't think we will. And that is how you put your M.2 SSD in. Next, you reverse the process by setting in your capture cards and everything else. My capture card will cover the M.2, so you really won't see it no more.
I'm gonna zoom out a little for you guys. As you can see, the capture card is back in. Next is my graphics card, which is in like that. Make sure it clips in. It will take two screws on mine. I apologize if you guys can't see the screws going in. It is a tight fit right there. And then one more screw up here. And then connect your two six pins back up to your graphics card. And that's how you put your M.2 in. I thank you for checking out the walkthrough how to connect up the Kingston SUV 500 SSD. And um, keep your eyes out more, uh, for more on DragonBlogger.com. Thank you. Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. To have your product reviewed, visit bit.ly slash review my product.